Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Question. What is every gym bro's favorite pastime? I'd say probably spotting your gym bros through life's most difficult challenges. Wow. That was strangely deep. But that was the wrong answer. I was going to say flexing your muscles. Oh. Do you want to talk? Yeah, no, I'm good. Just go on with your intro. Okay. When you flex, your muscles become as hard as a rock and you look great doing it. But here's the million dollar question. Can flexing your muscles protect you from physical harm? Well, maybe physical, but not mental harm. I'm not talking about that. Let's, let's keep that out of this. You sure you don't want me to no, start? No, no, don't you even dare say something mean to me right now. You look now. small. I wasn't flexing. Oh, touche. To find out, I'll be taking hits from various weapons while I'm flexed and relaxed to see which causes the most damage and pain. For this experiment, we got a wide range of weapons. Some of them are more blunt, some of them are stinging. One is a projectile. For each of these weapons, I'm going to get hit while I'm flexing and then while I'm relaxed. We're just gonna go right down the middle of my body. My right side will be the flex side, my left side will be the relaxed side. I thought you were always flexing. No, I'm just muscular. Are you? More muscular than you. Arm wrestle. Let's go. On your go? On my go. Okay. What's that? Don't go! <laughs> yep, I'm more muscular than Mark. <laughs> Pretty simple. I'm gonna get hit with the same power level on each side, and then we're gonna compare damage and pain. Can you uh, can you flex your left nut? I can kind of suck it up into my body a little bit. Ooh, that's almost a hernia. I think it's called a Kegel, actually. That's a new word I've never heard. You never heard of Kegels? Oh, Kegel. Yeah. Boy. Isn't that when you do like this? No, those no. are kettlebells. Yeah. Kettlebells. Yeah. Man, those words are close. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get going. We're gonna start this video off easy. Mark, you're gonna slap me in the chest. We're gonna start with the flex side. Wow, that was like grabbing a rock for Christ's sakes. Mm -hmm. So you would think it would be protective, right? Is that even, I don't even know muscle could get that hard. That's the knock on that. You could. Ben, you're making me blush. Stop it. Stop. Ridiculous. I'm pretty attractive, I know. That's why you get the ladies. You're muscular, but you're not attractive. Whoa! <laughs> Turn that audio up. I regret putting vodka in your drink. <laughs> Mark, I'm gonna flex this right peck and you're gonna slap it as hard as you can. My hand might break. That's the goal. Wow, I, I was think, like, I think you can slap a little bit hard. I was, I was a little scared on that one, to be honest. I'm like, if my hand breaks because of this muscular peck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got unfortunate news for you. You got to do three more slaps. Two more? I thought it was three per se. I changed my mind. I'm doing three now. Three more, four total. We. Maybe give me a, a good two slap back to back. A second one. That hurts. <laughs> Stinging a little bit more the more you slap me. It's got a little broken blood vessel. <gasps> yeah. Another one gone. <laughs> Only got ten of those left. All right, one more. Then we're gonna go to the relaxed side. Okay. Barely any juggle with this. Ridiculous. <laughs> you missed the pack. How you miss the pack on a slap? <sighs> They're so small. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. It's not what he was saying earlier. <laughs> Oh, I was just saying they're hard, not how big they were. They're pretty proportional to my body, I would I would think, you know. Not proportional to your calves. Oh wait, your calves are small. I got uh, uh, I did it to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Quick data review of the flexed chest slaps. As you can see, a lot of redness and we have a broken blood vessel, it appears. Moving on to the relaxed side. I'm curious to see if it'll be any difference. Also, Mark, you tried to limbo and then your whole head just went through the frame. I'm not flexible. Oh my God. <laughs> I know. I'm really tall. Is that the excuse? <laughs> yeah. Ever see tall people touch their toes? Damn, I don't know if I have. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. It's too late. We missed we it. We gotta go. We're done with this. We're done with it. It's over? It's over. You know what? I don't know why we always run. It's not like a nuclear missile is gonna work. <laughs> a single full power relaxed slap to my left pec. <laughs> That was weird. Why did he do that? <laughs> Look, I was making sure. <laughs> Damn, you hit like 
right on my nipple. Your nipple's even strong. Thank you. Thank you. Honestly, ever since I burnt them with hot pockets, they kind of always kind of protrude out. I think I have like scar tissue on them, <laughs> you know? Weird. Yeah. Weird that you did that with a hot pocket. <laughs> no, it was a pretty normal like idea. It's like, you know, hot pockets. If my son did that, probably just sewn them. I'll have you know, that video got age restricted, so <laughs> it was kind of useless at the end of the day. Wow. Yeah, that's why they call it scar tissue. Can I explain that? Because the video is a scar to your uh, ego self. Self? Mm -hmm. Sure. Anyways. <laughs> Two more slaps to the relaxed pack. Mark, can we get in like the same area as the flexed one, maybe? Can we move away from this freaking huge hole? No, that, that, that hole is a cornerstone of my yard. Yeah, uh, the cornerstone of my deck. Fine, we'll take a step forward if it makes you happy. Feel yeah. safer now? Yeah. Unless, as long as I don't walk back. <laughs> God, Mark. What? That would be the worst slapper I've ever seen. He is doing it with his left hand. Yeah, Honestly, I am he not should have swung with, with your right the entire yeah, time. Yeah, do one extra one so it equals out. Yeah, because they were a little bit low. Let's get, get two, like, right up here. Yeah, see, this will be perfect. I'll be uh -huh. coming right across. Just fill in the gaps. Oh, gee. God, you slapped me in the collarbone. That's kind of alarming. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I felt it with my thumb. Yeah. It's almost like you chopped me in the neck a little bit. Thank you. Getting that bug off me. Wow. Man, that freaking hurts. Pretty red on both sides, I'd say. Pain-wise, I don't know. It was pretty close, I think. It was pretty similar. Stinging pain is... I don't think you can... Since it's ultimately on your skin, you know, it doesn't get real deep tissue. I think that's a tough one to differentiate on a flexed versus relaxed. Will be interesting to try it with the weapons and different uh, things we got planned. So let's move on, shall we? Yeah. A little bit more enthusiasm. Try that one more time. Oh yes! <laughs> a little bit too much enthusiasm. Up next is a slingshot into my right flexed bicep. So there's a nice little laser sight on this, Mark, so there's no way you can miss. Good thing my name's Mark Miss... Miss it Mark. Miss it Mark, that's... That's not a good thing for me. But I always miss you. That's not a good thing. No, he misses you. Like, he mi like uh, literally misses yeah. me. When you're yeah. gone, when yeah. he's gone, because yeah. he doesn't live here anymore. He misses tucking in at night. Yeah, I miss the cuddles. I miss uh, that, egg, the cocoa by the fire. The egg scrambling. The, okay, scrambling you guys, no, that didn't happen. Sure, there was that one time, but other than that, <laughs> you shining me in the eyeball? You know what? <laughs> Shoot me in the bicep. I'm done. <laughs> there <it> go. <laughs> that fling over the top. Let's uh, go <laughs> near point blank. The hit, right? Yeah, but I, I hardly felt anything, Mark. I don't, I don't like the slingshot. Only a poor craftsman blames their tools. Wow, I don't really feel much of anything. No, well, I guess we'll hit your non flexed one. I think you should feel something. Yeah, I feel like that's painful. Metal going that fast. I don't really feel it. I'm gonna do a third shot to my flexed bicep. Mark, you're gonna have to pull that thing as hard as you can and land a nice square hit. I don't know how I can take my skin off. You hurt yourself. This is... Jake, you wanna sub in on this one? Try it one time. Oh! Holy, wow. That was like right on a nerve. I felt it shoot up my arm and down my arm. Jesus, I hope I, wow. where'd I hit you? Wow. Dead oh, center. I guess it's like. Uh, it's a little low. Wow. Well, it I tell you what, Flexi didn't help the pain because <laughs> you hit a nerve, no doubt about it. Wow, that was crazy. Hey, Mark, you just gotta pull it back. I yeah, you have, clearly can't use a slingshot. I didn't have my slingshot. Remember the two belly button in a row one? That's my slingshot and we lost it. You lost it. I just, it's your place. And you put it away. You got me. <laughs> that one's gross compared to See, that. I was hoping more on the bicep. Okay. <laughs> let's get one more, but let's land it here. Oh, hit the trees. <laughs> bounced off of me. <laughs> what? That hit you? Yeah, it hit me up like right where Mark hit me earlier. Deflection. I'm telling you, the distance does play a factor. It does. Take a step. Oh, but it's 
It's turning red. I feel like th this is like a soft spot where you got me earlier though. Yeah. Every time I've been hit so far in the bicep itself, like I don't feel it nearly as much. So that's a confusing one. Uh, okay, I felt, where did you hit me? I saw right there, it's yeah. warming. Okay, I really felt that one that time. Yeah, that was a good hit. That was the center bicep. Oh yeah. Yeah. Interesting data. Uh, seems like the slingshot uh, gives us some variables there. Let's try to land a couple good shots on a relaxed bicep. I am going to dangle my bicep. So he's gonna have to shoot to the inside here. Oh, you hit my nerve again. Oh. Oh, how do you keep doing it? You uh, inside. It, it is, you're right, you know, you're- oh, You set the inside of your oh, arm. Oh, my whole arm. Oh, oh, it feels so weird. Look it, it's right there. You said it's where you said it is. I meant more like here. Oh my God. It hurt just as bad as the black side. <laughs> you know what like, I mean? I just went off of uh, what you said. Uh, my arms are noodles. <laughs> you know, it was around the it was around the right area. I can't fault you for this. You said center mass. Yeah. More I was more like okay. upper upper center. Okay, upper center. Upper center. <laughs> you hit the same? No, no, no you didn't, you didn't. Okay. Okay, I just felt a shooting pain. I think it's worse, uh relaxed pain wise. That felt worse anyways. It looks worse. Yeah. Oh, what the hell is going on? I think I'm done shooting my arms. Yeah. It's like a, it's like an electric shock. Like, I'm pretty sure I broke a vein. You no, know, did the doctor say anything about this? I don't remember talking about but it. But we've never hit my biceps. So this is uncharted territory. I love exploring new things. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Gotta say, I think that last Relax shot, which you hit me squarely in the bicep, hurt the worst. Just pure pain wise. Obviously, the nerve shots were pretty equal on both sides. I'm interested to see how these look in a couple days. I wonder if I, you know, suffer more bruising on one side or the other. Is it bad that I feel bad? I'd say that's good. Good that I feel bad? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can we get like a 400 obese pound Houston and like we can compare that to like most athletic Houston? You know why I'm doing this video right now is because I'm kind of lean. I'm planning to bulk, so. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little fat here soon. I like fat Easton. Makes me feel better about myself. You're welcome. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> My biceps now feel weak and feeble, kind of like a radiating pain, which is unfortunate, but it's also the complete opposite of the feeling you'll get from the sponsor of this video. Bucked up! It'll make you feel strong. That was the first take, right? Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't mess up a sponsor segue. Can you grab a little bit in your hands and throw it up like a bronze? <sighs> well, oh my God. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, <don't do> <laughs> as many of you know, I'm a gym rat. And after extensively testing the pre-workouts and supplements that I received from Bucked Up, I cannot recommend them enough. They have no proprietary blends, which means you know exactly what you are consuming, and they use effectively dosed, science-backed ingredients. Fucked Up has everything that I personally look for in a pre-workout, which is why I know it'll work great for all of you. And if you don't believe me, you can try it out yourself for free. Simply click the link below and you'll receive four buck shots along with two bonus shots, and all you need to do is cover the shipping costs. And if you're interested in exploring other fantastic products on their website, use code JONES to enjoy a generous 20% discount. Moving on to a stinging pain, we got the Stinger Tactical Whip. I'm gonna be taking it to my back, upper back specifically. I'll be flexing all these upper muscles here, and we'll see what happens. I will say, I think this one will be the most painful, just ultimately. Yeah, it's got a lot of big words in it. Or hurt, hurtful words, Stinger. Tactical and whip. Yeah, those all hurt me. Uh -huh. Like deep into my soul. Three for one. Let's see what happens. Oh, you, what, you hit my, you hit my, you, why do you hit my arm? We should have a dummy that I can practice on before I start new weapons. You've used that plenty of times. It's been like a year. It's not like riding a bike. Where did he hit? <laughs> oh, it's right there. You missed completely. <laughs> You got to hit my shoulder. You got to hit my shoulder again. <laughs> I guess I was flexing that though. That was kind of flexed. Uh -huh. I just want you to hit my back. 
Oh, you're yeah. back. I thought that's what you said. I'm gonna do this one more time. And you're gonna hit me in the back. You can up the power a little bit, get a little bit more beans on it. I won't miss. I never miss three in a row. <laughs> Josh! <laughs> I stopped flexing! I stopped flexing. I, what I, made you think that was a good idea to hit again? It all happened so fast, honestly. Now my whole, my back is cramping again. Ooh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? What is it? That was my first one down this whole thing. <laughs> my second one was not bad. Give me that. <laughs> Cut off today. Ah, I mean. Jake subbed in again for accuracy reasons. I'm having a bad day, okay? Um, let's get a nice clean hit here so we can move on to the relaxed side. That was good. That was a solid hit. Right where I wanted it to. Top of your trap. That's fine. I was flexing. See, I did an upward oh, pinch. What do you mean? He's way off. No, it was that. That's down oh. my back. Oh, I thought you were pointing in this area the whole time. I can't reach to the center of my back. I mean, okay, if I use like this. This is good though. Yeah, yeah, that would have been a lot more helpful. You said in this area. That's where I was hitting. Man, my who, bad. Who's directing this? Artie. You're fired. <laughs> We got enough hits to my flex side. It's time to move to the relax side. Ah! Oh, that hurt worse. That hurt way worse. Oh my God, that hurt way worse. Oh. Ugh. I had some conclusive data so far. But it hit an idea into my head. It's like, he hit me and information traveled to my brain. My uh, myelin sheath. Yes. What? That's the stuff that travels the information to your brain. Okay, cool. Uh, anyways, <laughs> the information that traveled to my brain was, what would happen if I had a pump first? Would the pump protect me? You know, if I rushed blood to my muscles, is that more protective than just flexing? So, All I'm saying is this video gets 25,000 likes, I'll get beat up with a pump. A pump? Yeah, I'll yeah. get a pump, I'll lift some weights, and then I'll get hurt. Do you not know what a pump is, Mark? I, I, it could have been a pump for like a bike, you know? But I know what I'm gonna is. shake your hand for this one. <laughs> 25,000 likes, I get a muscular pump and then get hurt to see if it has any protective value. I told you, I need a lot of, a lot of context and guidance. Apparently, so. <sighs> yeah, unfortunately. Can I join in? You'll ruin the I'm deal. I'm not liking the video. <laughs> One more hit on my relaxed back with Stinger Tactical Whip. Ah, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I would rather flex on that one. Yeah, I would too. Ah. But I'm surprised because I, ah. I definitely thought being relaxed would, you know, help. Yeah, maybe soften the blow a little bit. But I honestly, I think for maybe something like that, flexing makes it less painful. I just saw lightning. What are you scared? I'm just making an observation. I'm the weatherman. I say we put a like a lightning rod in Mark's pants. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Quick data review from the Stinger Tactical Whip to my back. Now I can't see, boys. So what looks worse right now? Someone went oh. to accuracy school. Obviously, Mark's because he <laughs> missed a lot. He there is more hits to the flex side, but is there like a larger difference in like visible data? I think he hit harder. I'm gonna be completely honest. If that is the case, that's interesting because it definitely hurt worse on the relaxed side. This one's Jake's and it looks like mine. You did hit once on the flex side, right? Yeah. Did I hit that one? Yeah. Okay, there's a little more distinct redness on that one, but he did draw blood over here. It could just be the, how the end of the whip comes in, of the Singer Tactical Whip, that it can cut. Um, I think the true uh, determining factor on the damage aspect of this video will be the days after see the bruising difference. Moving on to my legs, we're gonna go to more blunt objects now. You know what that is, Mark? A wooden sword. What do they use it for? For Japanese stuff. The answer was kendo, which is a sport. Oh, which is a sport in Jap Japan. I mean, all around the world, but. Started in Japan. Probably, yeah. Starting with the flex leg with the kendo sword. Mark's gonna hit me a bit lower because I still have some data from a previous video. So we're hitting right here to the quad, ready to receive data. Oh my God. 
He didn't, but he put some beans on that one. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Oh! I just, I've never thought our video would be this far off the rails. <laughs> there were never rails to begin with. You're not wrong. <laughs> this thing's got some power behind it. I forget, you never used that one on me, <laughs> huh? Like, Maybe like, once. Hey, I'm like, did I pick his bike? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Well, that's some instant data right there. You know what? We can only do one. We can do one with this one. <laughs> okay. We can move on to the other, uh, the relaxed leg now. <laughs> All right. Now, the hard part here, Mark, is you got to do the same power level. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is so f***ing. <laughs> <laughs> Surprises me every time. I'm like, ah, I'll swing a little less. And it's just like, oh, she's the powerful one. Yeah, pain's probably about the same there on both of those. We're going to move on to a different blunt item. I'm thinking... You get scared. You got scared by the... Listen, we fi film under any conditions, okay? F you, Thunder. You can... Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the tactical mace. This once again will be coming into my quad here, ideally above where you hit me with the kendo sword. <sighs> yeah, we can probably do one more, a little bit harder, same area. Oh! Ah! Yeah, yeah, I felt that. Uh, ignore that bruise, that's something else. Relax side, and we gotta do it in a jiffy. Ow! That hurt way, that seems to be the trend. It seems to hurt a little bit worse when I'm not flexing, which is weird, I expected it different. I've been doing it wrong this for a while now. I've been just relaxing as you hit me in all these videos, because I, I thought it was better. I thought it would be better, and it doesn't seem to be better. It seems to be worse. It seems to be more painful. I seem to be putting myself in more pain and I've been relaxing all this time. I should be flexing more. I should probably be flexing. What's your fattest part of your body? My balls. Ah, oh, My ass is a close second. Why are your balls fatty? One more hit, relaxed. Ah! I had a, I had a nice acoustic, that ah. Yeah. It like really sent me. I should remix that and auto tune it. Yeah. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Quick data review. Starting with my chest, as you can see, this is how it looks. Then I got hit in the biceps. Back. Then my back. And then last but not least, my legs. Oh, that. Yep, we got some data leakage on that side. Now, I forgot about that one. Damn it. <laughs> I'm a little upset about that, but I gotta carry on here. What I really wanna know is how all this looks a few days from now. So I'll check back in and give you all my final thoughts on flexed versus relaxed pain and damage comparison. Or oh, done? Oh, we're just getting started. Says the guy scared of the thunder and lightning. I just don't wanna embarrass you because he's, we all know you are. I'm just doing it so it makes you look better. I look out for you. Just put the arm around, man. It's time for the flexed versus relaxed data review. Three days after the experiment, the damage on my right and left pec was pretty minimal from the slaps. Both my right and left bicep were significantly bruised from the slingshot hits. The right and left side of my back had minimal visible damage from the stinger tactical whip. And lastly, my legs had the largest difference in damage from the blunt weapons, with my left leg having more significant bruising than my right. But what does this data mean? Well, in terms of damage and bruising, I feel like there isn't a significant difference between being flexed or relaxed. Obviously, there were some slight differences in damage from my flexed and relaxed side, but I feel like that could be mostly explained due to the inconsistencies of the hits I received. What I found the most interesting and surprising is that on average, I found it more painful to be hit when I was relaxed and less painful when I was flexing, which if I'm being perfectly honest, is the opposite of what I thought would happen. So at the very least, flexing your muscles might be beneficial in reducing pain from physical attacks, which I don't know why that is. So I'm very interested to hear your thoughts down in the comments. Also, be sure to check out my Patreon by clicking the link in the description to see deleted scenes from my videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video with some more hard-hitting science.